The other day, Valve tweeted saying, If you've had bad matches recently, it may have been because trust wasn't working right. We fixed it yesterday and confirmed that it is now working as intended. And then they thanked everyone who provided useful feedback. That isn't good enough. I think it's fair to say that I'm one of the more easygoing YouTubers. I don't try to stir up drama just for the hell of it. I don't shout about how broken CSGO is, or moan about how many cheaters there are, partly because I don't have any insider information. It would be dishonest of me to assume that I know better than anybody else about such matters. I only know as much as you do. In other words, I don't know much about it at all. But, being a CSGO YouTuber, I am still associated with the game, and my success is tied to the game's popularity. I want what's best for the game, a game I've seen people growing increasingly frustrated with in the last few months. I'm disappointed by how Valve has handled the situation. Now it's good that they've acknowledged that there was a problem and that now it should be fixed, but we need more than that if we're to have faith in Valve's ability to deal with CSGO. Because even if there wasn't an actual problem with the trust system, the game has still developed a trust problem, because Valve's communication leaves much to be desired. While I don't have any special behind-the-scenes information, I do pay attention to social media. I get a lot of people messaging me about all sorts of stuff, and I've noticed more and more people complaining about the cheating situation, about how broken Overwatch feels right now, and so on. Even if there wasn't truth behind it, Valve's silence on the matter is causing people to lose faith in the game. Valve needs to do more to keep us informed, just to let us know that they are aware, and that they care about CSGO's player base. And I don't think a 209 character tweet is good enough, given the severity of the situation. Valve likes to move in mysterious ways. They've said before that they prefer to observe rather than to influence conversation about the game. And anti-cheat methods benefit from secrecy since that makes them harder to bypass. I understand all that, but there are times when they really should be speaking up and sharing more with us. The game is polished, it's popular, and it's no doubt making Valve a hell of money. Their attitude towards this game doesn't make sense. I'm amazed that despite the game's success, Valve is still doing the bare minimum in regards to PR. Reward your fanbase, Valve. Yes, we've got shiny new things to play with in this operation, but you're also neglecting the more essential aspects that keep this game playable. You've got the manpower, you've got the hardware, and you've evidently got the talent, but you seem to be disinterested. It just shouldn't be a problem. They went to the effort of creating all these clever ways to tackle cheaters and griefers. You'd think, after all that, they'd want to keep on top of them, rather than to let them fall into disrepair. The tweet mentions the trust factor, but nothing about the Overwatch system, which, again, even if there was nothing wrong with it, people have lost faith in it. I know I have. I'm still doing Overwatch cases. I've done them for many obvious spin botters, which is great. That's what this system's here for. Yet I haven't received a single notification that I've been right about any of them. I'm ashamed to admit that I eventually tried marking guilty people as innocent, just to see if that gave me some sort of feedback. It didn't. There's no feedback, when previously there was at least something. How are people not supposed to lose faith in these systems? On the surface, this tweet is something positive. Valve informed us that there had been a problem, one that they have now fixed. They even thanked us for it. But it's vague. I expected a blog post from them, informing us of how this sort of thing could arise and what they're doing to ensure that it won't happen again. Sure. Be secretive about how it works, Valve. But if you do that, then you can't rely on us to inform you that the system's broken to spur you into fixing it after an undefined period of time. Again, it's left me with less confidence in the system. But where has this left us? For all we know, fans of the game, the most valuable members of the community, have spent dozens or even hundreds of hours of their lives in subpar, cheater-ridden games because of this, through no fault of their own. How many players have been put off playing the operation, or indeed the game, because of this? Imagine having so many hours of your time wasted, only for Valve to respond with a vague tweet. It doesn't seem fair. So please, Valve, keep us informed. Make us feel like you love us. Tell us you care. Give us a reason to trust your secretive ways again after they go wrong. After all this time and effort, please don't squander a popular and profitable game for such an easily avoidable reason.